y equals 1. So the same goes for the inverse matrix. Now let me show you another example. This time it involves a matrix 3 by 3 where we are given three equations. So the first step is to convert these equations into the matrix equation of AX equals to B. So before we could do that, we need to arrange these equations, alright, so that the X will be uh, the first uh, term and then followed by Y and followed by Z. So from here, we notice that X is the multiple of X is equal to 1, so we will write down 1 and then Y is Four, so we write down 4 and z, the multiple is 1, z here, okay, 1, so we write down 1. So the next equation, we do not have x, so therefore we will write it as 0, and then y, we have 2y, we will write as 2, we don't have z, so therefore we will substitute z with 0 here. And then the next equation, we have 2x, so the multiple is 2, we will write down 2, and then multiple of y is negative 3, we will write as negative 3 and 3z multiple is 3, so we will take out 3 and then followed by x, y, z and on the right hand side we will take 1, 3, 0 as the matrix for B so that is step number 1 and step number 2 as usual we have to find the determinant of the matrix A which we have obtained just now. So, uh, in order to find the determinant of A which we have done, I would uh, request you to refer slide uh, number 28. So, we have actually the determinant of A is equals to 2. Now, next, we will proceed to find the minor of A, right? In the matrix 3 by 3, we have minor, so we have to find the minor of A. So from slide number 32, we actually have found the minor of A is equal to this. Then step number 4 is to find the cofactor of A, which have, we have already done earlier. Please refer to slide number 32. The cofactor of A is actually equal to this. And then step number 5 is to find the joint of A. And this also we have done. Uh, please refer to slide number 33 earlier. The adjoint of A is this. Okay? And then step number 6 will be to, to find the inverse matrix of A. And this we have done earlier. Please refer to slide number 33. The inverse of A is this. So from here, to solve the equation, what we'll do is to use the formula x, y, z equals to the inverse matrix of A times matrix of B which is 1, 3, 0. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So to find x, y, z, so this is the inverse matrix of A times 1, 3, 0. So remember we have to use row times column. All the elements in the row times column we will get this. The second row times column, we will get this answer. And then the third row times this column, we will get this answer. So it will be simplified. So this will be the, the answer for the question. So from here, we can say the value of x equals to negative 19 and a half. And then we have y equals to uh, 1 and a half. And the same goes for z. We have the answer 14 and a half. So that is the method we use to find, to solve a uh, simultaneous equation whether it is matrix 2 by 2 or 3 by 3. In this video, I'm going to show you one sample exam questions which may be useful for you for your assignment question 2. Now this question I've actually picked from the past year's paper. Uh, which came out in the January 2008 part B. So in this question, we are asked to solve the equations using the inverse matrix. So the first step is to convert this equation into the matrix form AX equals to B. So the first thing is to copy and arrange 
this equation starting with x followed by y and then z. In order to convert into a matrix equation, we have to look at the multiple of x. In this case, 1x, the multiple is 1. And then the, here, the multiple of x is 1 and this is 2. Therefore, we take out 1, 1 and 2. And then for multiple of y, we have 1y, negative 1y and negative 1y. So we will write here as 1, negative 1 and negative 1. And finally for z, we have 1z, 1z and 3z. So we will take out 1, 1 and 3 and then multiply by x, y, z. And then on the right hand side, we will write down the number 6 to 6. So that is step number 1. Step number two, you have to find the determinant of A. So we will start off with the matrix A. Alright? To find the determinant of A, copy the original matrix and then copy the first two columns here. Okay? And then draw the line, the blue lines and the red lines. Okay? So the next step is to multiply all the elements on the blue line. So we have 1 times negative 1 times 3 here, plus 1 times 1 times 2, you write it here, plus 1 times 1 times negative 1. Then minus the elements on the red lines. So we have 2 times negative 1 times 1, we write here, plus negative 1 times 1 times 1, followed by 3 times 1 times 1. Okay? Now the next step is to simplify the bracket in blue, which is 1 times negative 1 times 3 equals to negative 3, 1, 1, 2 give us 2, 1, 1, negative 1 will give us negative 1, minus the bracket in red, 2 times negative 1 times 1 will give us negative 2, negative 1 times 1 times 1 equals to negative 1, and 3 times 1 times 1 equals to 3, and then when we simplify further, the bracket on the left is equal to negative 2, the bracket on the right is 0, therefore the determinant of A is equal to negative 2. So step number 3 is to find the minor of A. So in order to find the minor of A, you have to work out one by one, eh? starting with element A11. So remember, copy the original matrix of A, circle the element 11, meaning row number 1 and column number 1. So draw the row line and column line. Alright? Then what remains here, you do a cross multiplication. So we have negative 1 times 3 equals to negative 3. Negative 1 times 1 equals to negative 1. So you minus, your answer will be negative 2. So repeat the same thing for element 1, 2. Row 1, column 2. Circle row 1, column 2. Draw the row and column line. And then the the numbers remain, you do a cross multiplication. So 1 times 3 will give us 3, 2 times 1 equals to 2. So therefore we have 3 minus 2 equals to 1. So the same goes for A, 1, 3, circle, row 1, column 3, draw the row and column lines, and then the, do a cross multiplication here. So 1 times negative 1 equals negative 1, 2 times negative